Hey, it's just so Trish, and I'm showing you the makings of one of my dinners I'm making tonight. I'm going to make meatloaf, and this is for my Weight Watcher mamas who are looking to lose weight with me and walk through this with me. Um, just an idea for a home-cooked meal. I'm going to come up, and I'll have all the points at the end, and I'll probably, and I'll look at the comments right now down below so you don't have to wait to the end, because I'm kind of doing this one on the fly. So, um, I am feeding... How many people? Seven people in the house. And this is going to be served with potatoes and broccoli or green beans because that's easy. So starting off with, I got my ground beef. Things I'm using to kind of keep it low is I'm substituting the ketchup with tomato paste. I am substituting the crackers with quick cook oatmeal. And I like to add vegetables to mine. And because I'm being lazy, I like my dehydrated food to help me be lazy. So this is diced carrots. And there will be points involved with that one. But it won't be much. And then the celery looks like this. You can see I use a lot of it. And the celery is going to be zero points. Um, the onion is going to be zero. I'm adding mushrooms in there. And I'll leave the juice to help... Um, Hydrate up the carrots and the celery and the onions while it cooks. I'll be using a parsley. And I'm using Everglades because that's what we use in the South. But um, it is full of sodium and MSG. I do look forward to trying to come up with something as an alternative to this. But for now, this is what we live with. So I'm going to hit pause and get all my stuff together. I'm gonna show you, And I'm going to use two eggs. And I will show you how I'm going to make this and how kind of easy this will be to help you out for an idea so I'm going to be using actually 37 ounces of um, ground beef and this ground beef is 93% lean 7% fat so it's gonna make it a point of ounce so this is gonna be 37 and now again I'm doing flex points and I'll have all of my equations or my how I calculate this recipe in the description so it comes to be about an ounce, a point per ounce, a regular old Weight Watchers point per ounce. So I'm going to be using this and I'm hoping to get 10 servings and it should come to a total of five points. I'll be using two eggs. I'm using a cup and a half of quick oats, which is six points. My two eggs are going to be four points. My carrots and Again, because I am lazy, I love some dehydrated carrots. I did 60 grams of carrots, and it's three points for 60 grams. And my onion is going to be free. My celery is going to be free. Parsley free. Tomato paste free. Mushrooms free. The biggest thing I can tell you, your best friend for doing Weight Watchers, is this measuring tool right here. Because it really helps you out. Like, I would not have been successful measuring this with a tablespoon, even though they said three tablespoons is this a serving size. It was much easier by doing it on my scale. So, that's something to keep in mind. So, let me put it all in here together. The first things I'm going to mix are it's going to be my ground beef, my celery, my onion, my carrots, my oats, my parsley, and my seasoning. So, let me get it all in there. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside, and now I'm going to mix it up with the power of technology. I don't know. Alright, so it very much looks like a veggie loaf. Then I add my mushrooms with the water, because the water is going to help rehydrate the onions, but so is the, um, the moisture from the meat. There's not going to be a lot, because it's a lean meat. So let me get the tomato paste in there and the eggs. Okay, so the other thing I'm doing, because I don't want this to be super dry, is I just took and I'm adding one can um, of water to go with my tomato paste. So now I'm going to mix it up. Okay, it's all mixed, and I'm going to put it into the pan, and you're going to see this is going to be a big meatloaf. And the big thing to note is the more vegetables you add, the bigger your meatloaf is, which means the bigger meal you're going to have for the least amount of points. So that's another way is by adding more vegetables you're actually increasing the size for the same amount of points as long as they're free vegetables. Okay so I have it in the pan and you can kind of see it has a nice kind of wet look to it which should help as it cooks to keep those 
dry food things hydrated the next thing I'm going to do just to help make it even more yummy is I'm going to do potatoes so the reason I'm doing diced potatoes is it's going to be easier for me to portion control diced potatoes and to keep them from just being so plain I am using some roasted garlic herbs so I'm going to season these and put them in the pan put them in put the potatoes in the pan okay I do oh the seasoning that I put on there, that Weber seasoning, was zero points. Now, the one thing I do regret is I didn't save a little of the tomato paste um, before I mixed it all in because I really like the little bit of tomato on top, but I'm just going to have to live without it. I'm going to put it in a 380 degree oven and I will let you know how long it took to cook. The thicker it is, which means the taller you have it, I mean, it comes down to the way you shape your meatloaf by how long it takes. I mean, this should probably take me about an hour. Okay, so it's breaking down because it's pretty late. But there's my meal. There's my five, no, my six point meatloaf. No, my five point meatloaf. I think this is two or four points of potatoes. It's about a half a pound of potatoes um, that I just roasted along the meatloaf and my green beans. My meatloaf did turn out a little dry, so I probably should have used another can of tomato paste. So there you have it. I'm going to probably add another tablespoon of ketchup for the ketchup flavor. And there's my meal. It's a 10-point meal. I hope you like it, and I will try and do some more of these when I can.